Hey guys, my name is Luke from Aim A Little Higher and welcome back to the Purpose Driven Life series. Congratulations, you are here, the final episode, episode four. I hope you've enjoyed the other episodes so far. If you haven't remembered them, we've spoke about, well, we've asked the question of, do we have a purpose? If we do have a purpose, then what is purpose? And then if we do have a purpose and we know what it is, then how do we find it? And now we're going to talk about, well, how do we actually live it out in the world? How do we live a purpose-driven life? Like always, if you haven't seen any of the episodes yet, please go back and watch one, two, and three so you are ready to embody what it is we're going to talk about today. So, with that being said, let's dive in. So, so far, we're basically up to this. we found our purpose. we found the gifts that are within us. Remember, this is what we said. We said that our purpose produces value. Our purpose works for a bigger purpose or is a part of a bigger collaborative purpose. And also that our purpose is of such value and the things that we value or the things that are within us that are our most valuable are our gifts and our talents and our abilities, not our passions. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about, well, how do we live it out? How do we live out our purpose? Well, the first thing that we've got to understand is this, is that, well, if our purpose is within us, then ultimately we've kind of just got to get whatever on the inside of us is of great value. Whatever our purpose is, we need to get it out. We need to use it. We need to produce it, put it to work. So we've identified that one of my gifts is to be able to communicate. So to live out my purpose, what do you think I've got to do? Communicate. I've got to be able to use my gift to communicate things that produce value in the world. And that is me living out my purpose. As simple as that. Now a byproduct of that is it brings me great joy, great peace, great fulfillment. But the craziest thing about this guys is it makes me money. See, what most people don't understand is this, is when you live out your purpose, when you seek first the purpose that is stored within you and you outwork it and you put it out into the world, most of the time, not all the time, most of the time, pretty much all the time, you will get paid for it if you do what it is that I'm going to talk about today. So this is what we've got to do. To live out your purpose, this is what you've got to do. You've first got to identify your purpose. You've got to identify the gifts, the talents, and the abilities that you have. We spoke about that in the last video. We write them down, we understand them. Then what we do is we have to have a vision. What is a vision? A vision is something that carries our purpose. It's the way that our purpose is manifested in the world, how we see our purpose manifested in the world. So for me, as an example, my purpose is to communicate. That's one of my purposes, is to communicate. My vision for how I see that outworking is, is I see myself communicating on stage in the education sector. That's a vision that I had. And now what I'll do is I'll walk you through how I lived out my purpose in my own life. Is I identified that I had a gift of communication. Then what I did is I wrote down a vision and made it plain, simple. My vision was this. I want to be able to add value in the education system through my ability to communicate. So what I did is I created something that was in demand. And that's my second point. Your vision has to marry up or become a solution to a problem that the world is having. It has to be in demand. So what I did is I sat down and I thought of an idea. I thought of a talk that I could do that solved the problem in the education sector. And the way that I first started it was that I knew that young people in primary school didn't believe in themselves. That was a problem, that they just didn't believe themselves. So because they didn't believe in themselves, I sat down 
and I said, okay, I'm gonna create a talk that is going to solve that problem. Then what I did is I went to the school and I said to the school, hey, I have a talk that you need. I have a talk that you need because it solves your problem and your problem is this, is that your young people don't believe in themselves. And this is what happened and this was crazy. They said this, brilliant. What you have produced for us is of such great value that we are going to pay you for it. So I remember the very first time, the very first thing that I ever did where I realized, oh my gosh, I could do this for a living was this, is I first saw a problem in the world. And that is a clue to your purpose, by the way. I'll just say that quickly. A clue to your purpose as well is that you will be attracted to it. In one sense, you will have a passion in one sense towards it. So mine is very much, one of mine is very much linked to young people. So young people have always been on my heart. I've always wanted to help younger people, help the next generation. So I sat down and I thought, right, what do I want to help them with? I said, well, right now, they're struggling with their mental health. And I, was, I did this at 19 years old. I said, right, they're struggling with their mental health. They're struggling with anxiety. Okay, right, well, my gift is to be able to communicate and to be able to coach people and to ask people great questions. And that ultimately will help them with their anxiety. So I'm gonna take my abilities, my gifts, and I'm gonna use them to solve the problem that they're having, which is their anxiety. And what I did is I put a post out on Facebook and I said, I help young people from the ages of 14 to 18 with anxiety. And then what happened was crazy. I had parents come to me and said, can you help my son? Can you help my daughter? And I would go over and I would go and do that. I would use my gifts of communication and coaching and I would help that young person overcome anxiety. And the craziest thing is, was, is that parent paid me to do it. Why did they pay me to do it? Why did they pay me? Because what they were doing, they were paying me for my gift. They were paying me for the value in which my gift brought to their lives. Does that make sense? So what does that look like for you practically right now in terms of, okay, how do you live a purpose-driven life? Well, this is what I want you to do, is I want you to write down a vision. I don't want you to write down a vision of how you want your life to look. I want you to write down a vision of how you see yourself producing value in the world. How do you see yourself helping humanity? Remember what I said about that collective purpose? How do you see yourself playing the part in that? Do you see yourself working in education? Do you see yourself working in politics? Do you see yourself working um, with, with childcare, with family? Do you see yourself working in creative arts? Where do you see yourself producing value? And also, where does your gift come into that? How can you use your gift to produce value in that area? And what you then wanna do is create a vision or create an idea around that. And you wanna give that to the world. You wanna produce that for the world. And that might look like having conversations with people. That might be networking. That might be starting your own business doing that. Having an idea, sharing it with people. But if you share that vision with somebody, if you produce something of great value, somebody will pay you for it. And they'll pay you for the rest of your life. And here at Aim A Little Higher, we've done it. I've made a living from living out my purpose. And it's brought me great joy, great peace, and great fulfillment. And there's nothing that brings me more joy and fulfillment in life than adding great value to other people's lives using the gifts that I've been given. So, I hope this series has inspired you. I hope this series has enabled you briefly to be able to, to really spark the purpose that is within you because the purpose that you carry is so needed in the world, so much so 
that it isn't going to be in the world until you turn up, until you bring it. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this series. And like always, let me know what you got from today's episode. Let me know how it produced value for you. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every time when we do a new video. And most of all, have an amazing rest of the day and live a purpose-driven life. See you later.